so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can import the alpha brushes in blender and how you can use it in blender and you can create that brush using the photoshop according to your desire and you can also download from the internet okay there are lots of brushes in internet you can download and you can use it okay and you can create that kind of effect here you can see so right now i'm going to use the that alpha brush which is i have download from the internet here you can see that is the alpha brush basically so in this video i'm going to talk about each and everything step by step so make sure you watch this tutorial in end because if you will miss the any step so maybe you will not get the same result which is i'm going to show you here and one more thing guys i just want to tell you before start the tutorial if you guys want to do practice on this project file so you, so you can download this brush from the description that will be free for my all subscriber so now let's start the tutorial okay so here you can see if i'm just going to my blender so here you can see that looks something like this if i'm just going to switch my a solid mode so here you can see that's look like this and if i'm just going to edit mode of this plane so there is nothing basically here you can see okay because i have used the alpha brush on it and i have also used the uh, multi rays uh, modifier which is give a very good uh, good amount of mesh which is create a perfect detailing so let's start it so first of all i just want to delete this and start a new project file so i'm just going to delete this start a new project file so first of all i just want to add one plane here pressing the shift a and then i'm just going to my front view and here i will just change this line as a view so it will face towards you something like that okay and then i'm just going to my uh, modify section and here i will just add one modifier it's called multi resolution so i'm just going to hit this and here you can see we have a lots of things here so you don't need to change any setting in this part you have to just click this subdivide but here you can see guys when i'm just going to subdivide that plane gonna make a like a circle which is we don't want so for that what we have to do we have to just go to edit mode of this plane okay and then i'm just going to select the all four edges of this plane something like that okay and then i'm just going to press the n and i will just go to my item section so we have to just increase this mean crease weight and exit from the edit mode and now if i'm just going to subdivide it so now it's not going to make a circle now we can just subdivide according to our desire so i think six look fine to me then i'm just going to my a uh, sculpting section and and then i'm just going to choose one brush where you want to add the your alpha brush so right now i'm just going to use uh, this by default brush is called draw okay then i'm just going to press the n and i will just go to my tool settings and here you will see a option it's called basically a texture here you will see a little icon it's called a new so we are not going to create the texture from here because we will just uh, go to our texture setting here and here i will just create a new here i'm just going to import my alpha file so i'm just going on my folder and here i'm just going to click this and then i will just do open image so here you can see when i just uh, click the open image so here we can see the that preview of that alpha brushes basically now we need to change some setting from here which is so uh, essential because if you not do this so you will not get exactly that effect which is i'm going to show you so make sure first of all you have to change this mapping setting tile as a view plane okay then you have to just scroll it down and here you have to just go to the stroke settings and you have to just change this stroke mathematic as a anchored and then you have to just uh, change this uh, fall off setting from here as a smooth okay and apart from that you don't need to change anything now what you have to do you have to just go to your front view okay and here you have to just uh, drag your uh, brush something like that and you will see something like that okay so right now here we are getting very low poly mesh because we don't have good amount of mesh so what we have to do in this case we have to do our uh, two things because we don't have a, a good amount of mesh that's why we getting that kind of pixelated uh, alpha here so if you want a sharp and good alpha so you have to just press the control z first of all okay then you have to just go to the object mode and then you have to just click the right click first of all and do shade smooth and go to your modify settings and increase little subdivision from here so i think it look fine to me then i'm just going to again my sculpting section so now i'm just going to add the alpha so here you can see we'll see a perfect high poly effect here and here you can see and that's look fine now here you can see that's look great okay and i'm just going to do control z again and i will show you one more time so right now we need a perfect alpha so i'm just going to drag it from the center something like that 
and I think now that's look fine here you can see guys so that's how we can import the any alpha brushes in blender you can use into in this sculpting section and here you can see you will get a perfect and very clean mesh here and now you can just add the any kind of material into this your mesh and you will get a perfect result here you can see and if you have a another brush so you can just go to again your folder where you have to save that brush okay you will get a new brush now you can drag it drop drag and drop and draw whatever you want to draw basically okay so i hope now you get it how you can import your alpha brushes in blender that's a very easy trick which is i thought i should share with you because uh, because lots of people are telling it uh, talk about some sculpting section as well so i thought that is the basic thing which is i should uh, share with you so here we go guys i hope you enjoy this video learn something new today so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys